Okay, so today I'm going to show you how you can use this table that has all the categories of different animals in to help you find your similarities and your differences. So if we have a look at mammal, it says they are warm blooded. So I'm going to have a look at other different categories of animals now. So they're cold blooded. So no, that's not a similarity. That's a difference. Let's have a look down at the insects. Birds. Oh, OK, they are warm blooded as well. So that's a similarity straight away between birds and mammals. So I'm going to highlight that in yellow. OK. So what you could do with that is you can go straight over to your plan now once you find a similarity and pop that in your plan and then I would flick back to this table but I'm going to continue to help you find the similarities and differences. Now let's think about how they have their young. So I know that birds lay eggs on or above the ground and I also can see that amphibians lay eggs but it's underwater so it is a similarity because they both still lay eggs but you could use the conjunction but they lay them in different places okay so that could be added to your sentence but it still is a similarity there so if we have a look at some differences now okay so if we have a look at oh insects that's an interesting fact they have no backbones OK, so I'm going to highlight that. Now I'm going to find um, a type of animal that does have backbones. Here we go, an amphibian. So that's a difference between them. Insects have no backbones, but amphibians have backbones. So you might want to then write that down on your plan as a difference. So that's how you can use this category of different types of animal table to help you with your plan.